hello welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is Rudy we talk about makeup skincare vlogging we do all types of stuff on my channel and today we are going to do a little get ready with me using a lot of new makeup that I have recently bought or gotten in PR there are so many new foundations right now I feel like it is literally 2022 is the year of the glowy dewy foundation and I I'm planning on doing a video where I'm kind of gonna talk about each one and who I think it would be best for and what my favorites are but in this video we're just gonna use one I am getting ready to go to a play or a musical with my husband tonight we actually have season tickets to our local Broadway season so we're going to see the prom last week we saw Mean Girls it was incredible and then next week we're going to see Dear Evan Hansen so it's kind of nice to just have something to get dressed up and get ready for and we're also kind of celebrating the fact that I hit 100,000 followers on TikTok, which is absolutely insane. Never in a million years thought that would happen. And if you like TikTok, you can follow me over there. It's just at Rudy Berry. I talk about most of the stuff I talk about here just in really quick, short form. But I will say today's a really sad day and I'm not really feeling super happy. And that's because Russia has invaded Ukraine today and it is one of the saddest things I've ever seen as an adult and understanding the impact of of war and what's going on and how ruthless and selfish and horrible this man is and I I'm just devastated by it. So if you are a Ukrainian follower of mine or you have family in that area, just know I'm thinking about you. I'm so sorry. And you know, my heart is with you forever and always. I'm just so, so sorry. So, you know, we're gonna do a get ready with me today. And I just want you to know that I'm sorry, I'm sad. And it's just a sad day in general. So if I seem a little bit down, that's why. But let's go ahead and get into it. As I said, my name is Rudy. I would love it if you subscribed if you're new here. I know this is a little bit of a weird video if it is your first, but join in, join in. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so I'm starting off with this lip mask that I have been absolutely obsessed with. It is the Innisfree Lip Sleeping Mask with Canola Honey. I got this in PR in a Valentine's Day package from them. If you're someone who likes honey and you like the smell of honey and you like just like literally the smell of honey basically you need to get this i only found the link on their website i think that it was limited edition and it came back or something like that but i think they have a green tea one but if you're a honey person in general you <laughs> have got to get this and the best part is that it's like made with honey so that's why it smells like honey not because there's like a fake honey in there <laughs> it's amazing and it's huge it's huge i'll link all of this stuff down below as well for those who are curious so i am not a primer gal but when i've had my skincare on for a long time because i put it on this morning i do like to use the peach and lily glass skin veil just to kind of refresh my skin and give it a little bit of moisture and i'm actually going to use the new kosas foundation today but um with the pr package that they sent they also sent a sponge and i really like it so i'm just going to kind of tap that in with that this sponge is really cool I am not someone who likes to spend a lot of money on a sponge, so if they didn't send this to me, I would not have it. But it is like this long, oblong looking sponge that has really pointy tip that I have tried to use, but it's a little bit too flimsy this side, but this side is perfect. And it's super soft, which I prefer a really, really soft sponge over a hard sponge. So I'm gonna use this as well, but I don't think you need to buy it. I think that you could use your Real Technique sponge and be just fine. So I actually wanna test this out first. I know I just said I'm not gonna wear a primer, but this technically, I'm not using it like a primer. I'm using it like an all over glowy base. Okay, maybe it's a primer. It's listed as a primer. Okay, so I'm gonna wear a primer, which I don't do, but it's new and I wanna test it. This is the Wet n Wild Glass Correct Primer. And I was testing it to see if it was a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Floss Filter. And I'm pretty sure that it is. And I also gotta say that the ingredients are great in this uh, primer. It's basically just a hydrating primer. It's basically just a glycerin base primer and there's, oh, there's squalene in it too and there's no fragrance. So I'm just gonna take this on my sponge and it's got like a yellow tinge to it kind of, which I don't think is gonna really do much in terms of like correcting color. That's kind of the point of it though, is that it's like supposed to be a brightener. But I think that it will just give you an overall dewy glow, kind of like the flawless filter does. I also think you could just use your hands to do this. Like you don't need to use a sponge, but I'm bouge, bouge-tastic. That did a little something, not a lot, but a little something. It gave me just like a nice hydrating, like kind of dewy layer without it being 
too dewy. It's definitely not as good as the flawless filter. I'll give you that. Not as good. Still good, not as good. So, the lady of the hour is this is the Kosas Revealer Concealer. No. Kosas Revealer Skin Improving Foundation Broad Spectrum SVF. 25. I already used this in another video. It was a vlog last week and I really, really, really liked it. And I have just become obsessed with it. I think it looks so good on the skin and I just have been drawn to it every single day. So that should tell you in my ranking where this would go. I also just got the new Ilia foundation. I'm just going to use one pump. I also got the new Ilia foundation that is a reformulation of their True Skin foundation, which I have had in the past and returned. I think that even made a fails video before. So if it has, I'll try and find it and link it up above, but I hated that foundation. So I'm really curious about this new one. The problem is they sent me two shades that are way too dark for me. So I either need to wait until I come back from Scottsdale with my husband, which I'm going on a trip with him in a couple weeks just for fun or I need to add like a highlighter or a lightener in it to get it to lighten up, then the actual foundation like won't be the same. So I don't know yet. I might just go in and buy a new one. This just looks so natural, so beautiful, and the color match is perfect on me. I have shade 170. And I'm just gonna do a light layer and then go in again where I have some redness to help layer that a little bit. Gosh, this lighting is really bad. I'm sorry, guys. One light layer of our Kosas, and now I have to share with you something that I have been regretting having to tell you, and if you follow me on Instagram, you already know what I'm about to say, and that is that my favorite concealer of all time, you already know it, say it with me, one, two, three, the Tarte Hydro Sealer, discontinued. Discontinued, you guys. I literally feel this like coming up, like crying. I had a really bad day when I found out that this was discontinued and I was near tears, you guys. I have a TikTok on it, but essentially they were com they came out with a new concealer that had a similar packaging with the blue and it was kind of in the by the sea collection and I just didn't think anything of it because it was a matte full coverage concealer is how they were marketing it. So I was like, oh, whatever, I'm not gonna buy that, so I'm not even gonna look into it. On my TikTok, someone commented and was like, girl, did you know the Hydro Sealer is being discontinued and replaced? And I was like, discontinued? What are you talking about? Like, I know they're bringing out a new one, but I didn't know they were discontinuing it. And she's like, yeah, go look on Sephora. This is in like, this is at like 11 p.m. I run to my Sephora website and uh, it's gone. It's not being sold on Sephora. I go to Tarte's website. You can only check out with one, so they have like a limited stock. It's on sale at Kohl's. Like, guys, it's completely being discontinued. I will never find a concealer as good as this. This is perhaps my favorite coverage product of all time, not just concealer, like coverage. And the fact that it's being discontinued makes me so goddamn upset because Either I have horrible taste in makeup and the fact that it's being discontinued is because no one's buying it, or Tarte doesn't know what the fuck they're doing and it's making a full coverage matte concealer in, in its place. Like, we already have one of those. It's called Shape Tape. We, we don't need another one. I'm not gonna harp on it too much because I'm actually gonna do an entire video series where I try different concealers to see what I can replace it with. And so far, I've already bought the new Bear With Me or Bear It All Bear Concealer from NYX, and I bought the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I think I'm also gonna get the Ilia Concealer, and uh, there was like one more that people have given me suggestions on. So a lot of people said Kosas. They're not the same. They're not even close to being as good. I never wear the Kosas one because it's too high coverage for me. So anyways, let me know down below. I, I can't even talk about it fully. We'll get into the full details in that video. I really just can't. I'm feeling a bit dry today, so we're just gonna skip our powder completely and go in with bronzer. I don't really have a new bronzer that I'm testing right now, which I will say like bronzers and highlighters, I've been kind of like tired of all of them. I'm like, what's new? What's next? Give me something fun. Give me something fresh. I think I'm just gonna use my old, my old goodie, the Tarte Cream Bronzer. Pfft, freaking Tarte. 
idiots. And I'm go going to use the Lawless foundation brush and just bronze it up. I actually am going to use a new highlight today because I did go on a highlight spree where I was like, I need to try something new. Every time I look in my highlight drawer, I'm like, I don't want to use any of these. And it's not because they're not good. I just uh, have an undying need for new, new things because I ha have a disease and that disease is being addicted to makeup. So when I hadn't had a new highlighter in a little while, I was like, What's going on? So I bought one from Chanel, which I think we're gonna use today. Uh, one from Persona and one from Nude Sticks that I think I'm gonna actually have to return because it's one of those highlighters that dries down so quickly that you have like no time to play with it and that's not really my jam. So I'll maybe we'll use it on the eyes today and see what we think of it, but I don't really know if it's worth it for me to keep it just because I use it on my eyes once, you know? But the other two, stunning. I talked about that in the vlog as well. I did like a little haul with that stuff. So if you're interested, let me know. And also that vlog, was so much fun. I loved it. I had a blast. I usually tend to vlog when my husband is like out of town just because I feel like I can give my full attention because if he's home, I like to be with him. Call me crazy. But it was really, really fun. And I'm actually wearing a new pair of jeans from that haul and the top that I got, which I can't quite figure out to be honest with you. It's so big, even though it's a small, I probably should have gotten extra small. Okay, so I'm trying to think of the vibe that I wanna go for today. And I'm thinking like just my usual, like browns, nudes, cute, cute. So for blush, I kinda just wanna go classic. However, I wore this blush from Milk and got so many questions on it from people. So I think I'm just gonna try it again and be like, this might be my, my color because I people were loving it. This is the shade Perk and it looks really, really bright, but when you put it on, it's actually super sheer. So I think that this would work on a lot of different skin tones and I'm going to add it to my brush and then go in on the face to help from having like a really pigmented cheek and it allows you to add it as you want. See how pretty that is? It's just like a couple swipes and you can go right in. And it's not too anything. It kind of just looks like a natural flush on the cheek. It's really pretty. I didn't think I would like this one, but I really do. And I also think this would work on dark skin tones if you build up the pigment. Cause it's got that nice kind of neon undertone, which looks so good on deep skin tones. It's also just like a very understated blush. Like, I don't know that you could overdo it because it's so sheer which I like for a look where I'm wearing a lime green top. And I usually always add more blush at the end, so we'll check back in on that. I also just organized all of my makeup and I gotta say it has really got me into trying other makeup that I have because I can actually see everything that I'm interested in using right now. Whereas before I tried to have as much as possible at my disposal and now I'm like, no, let's have a few things out that you like and that you wanna use right now and when you're ready to try something new, you'll try something new, which of course I will. Okay, the highlight of the moment that I'm really excited. This is a 42 or $43 highlight, okay? This is expensive. This is the Chanel Balm Essential in the shade Sculpting. Yeah, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I am going to also use a brush for this and I think the best brush for these kind of sticks, either you can apply them right to the face, but sometimes I find that lifts product. I go in on a flat top dome brush like this and this is the highlighter brush from Real Techniques. It's super cheap and works super well. So this allows you to have a little bit more control over where it goes without, without breaking up your product. Let's zoom in for this one. Oh, that is glossy. I wish the sun was out so we could get a really good view of this. Cause right now it's just looking sweaty, which I'm good with, but I really wanna see this sucker in the sun. Another reason that I like this one is it's not like too sticky. It's just like a little balmy, but it's not super sticky like the Merit Beauty one, which I, I do love a lot, but it's just a little too, not that it's sticky, but it's a little wet, you know? Gotta cover the stash. <laughs> I really like that. I like to put it right up under the eye right there too. Live it, laugh it, love it. Look at that, she's shining like a bright, shine bright like a diamond. Okay, so let's try this little nude sticks as my highlighter, my inner corn highlighter. Ooh, there's nothing in there, okay. I got this recommendation from a friend on TikTok who we have very similar style, but she did also mention that you have to blend it really quickly. This is the nude sticks 99% angel. It's very pretty, but again, you got 
you got to blend it right away. But I do think it could be a really pretty inner corner shade. But again, do you keep something just because it looks good in your inner corn? I don't know. Oh, she might have to keep that for her inner corn. <laughs> Something I'm always looking for is a good inner corner highlight that is like travelable. Like I would bring this on a trip and just use this with my bronzer and done, you've got an easy look, which I might literally do that tonight. So I, I like that. I like that. I think she's gonna be a keeper. So I'm just gonna take a neutral brown. I really wanted to wear this green shade, super greens on my eyes today. But then I was like, this is from an Urban Decay palette. But then I was like, Honey, you're wearing green. So I'm not gonna do that. And I'm just going to use my favorite palette, the Natasha Denona Face and Light. I think that's what it's called. Glam Face, whoops, Glam Face Palette. And I just love these browns in here. So I'm going to kind of mix these two and just put it all over my eyeball, basically. And I'm not gonna use a primer because I really just want it to be like a blown out look. And so I don't want it to catch on anything. And I really don't care if it creases because I'm just doing one shade for the whole eyeball. I love that brown. It's just like a nice neutral brown. I've been really liking that kind of cat eye wing shaped eyeliner or eyeshadow. So I'll just take any pen, uh oh. Oh, that was too much. I was gonna say, I'll just take any pen concealer I have. Usually, oh God. Oh, I use too much. So I guess I'm just gonna bring it under the eye. <laughs> yeah, that worked, right? Right. Excuse me, dog. Don't you know I'm YouTubing? Jeez, so rude. It's like, I don't come on your channel and bark. Okay, so next I'm gonna use another new product. If you know or don't know or follow me on Instagram, I love tubing mascaras. Absolutely adore them. It's basically the only mascara that I wear anymore. It has to be tubing because I don't like to powder my under eyes. So someone on my Instagram commented and was like, hey, did you know L'Oreal has a tubing mascara, but it is the waterproof version of their Age Perfect? And I was like, what? That doesn't make any sense because the only thing that takes off a tubing mascara is water. So how could a waterproof formula also be tubing? I thought that was very odd. So I looked into it and long, lo and behold, Age Perfect Glascara, easy to remove, waterproof, removes easily with warm water to help resist lash loss. And on the back it says, flake free formula, gentle remove, splash eye area with warm water and tubular pieces will slide off. So this is definitely a tubing mascara. And as I've said before, why don't these brands just come out and be like, hey, this is a tubing mascara. Like, why does it have to be easy to remove waterproof? Like, that doesn't make any sense. And also, if you truly are trying to have a waterproof mascara, it ain't gonna be a tubing one, sweetie. But I'm excited about this because it's relatively inexpensive for a tubing mascara, and it has a really nice natural bristle wand. So I'm excited for it, and it looks pretty good. So. Let's test it out. I'm also gonna do, oh, I need to curl my lashes first. I'm also gonna do a video on all my favorite tubing mascaras and rank them. I will say I just tried the Bye Bye Panda Eye from Essence, which is supposed to be a tubing mascara. It ain't, it ain't. No tubes to be had. And it did come off with just water, but it didn't work well at all. It flaked, it caked, it snaked. I also bought the number seven Stay Perfect one because that is also a tubing mascara and it kind of reminded me of the um, Hourglass one. I'm getting this everywhere. All right, I'm gonna do the other eye and then we'll show the finished look. If this is truly a tubing mascara and doesn't flake, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about flaking, not necessarily about smudging because I just, I don't know, it looks a little bit like a mascara that would be flaky. And it claims no flanking to be had, so I will let you know either in the comments or in another video how this works out because I'm gonna have a mask on and I'm gonna go to dinner and I'm gonna be wearing this for a long time. So I'll let you know on that. Okay, so for eyebrows, I have been testing out the Swipe Up, cute name, from Persona Cosmetics. It's just an eyebrow gel and it's a good color. I would say it's nothing special. The wand is a little bit chunky, so if you have a smaller brow, it's probably not your thing. My favorite brow gel is the Kosas Airbrow, 
but this one works fine. I just opened it, so I wanna get some use out of it. I also got my eyebrows tinted recently, and I feel like it did absolutely nothing. My eyebrows are jet black, and my esthetician who was doing it told me that, she's like, there are blonde hairs in everyone's eyebrows, and the dye attaches to that, and it really does make a difference. And I was like, oh, that'd be great if I had some like secret blonde eyebrow hairs that this would attach to, and then my eyebrows would look more full. This woman, me, I, Croatian, not a blonde hair to be had on my head, on my body, nowhere. Literally nowhere. So it, they looked the exact same. Every single hair that has ever grown out of a follicle on my body has been either dark brown or black, including my eyebrows. Y'all should have seen me as a baby. I was so hairy with jet black hair. And I always tell my husband, like, if we have a blonde baby, I don't know what I'm gonna do. He was a bleach blonde baby. Like, I don't know how to connect with them. They're like little aliens with blonde hair. I need a little dark haired Croatian baby girl. And if he can't deliver, I'm not delivering. <laughs> just kidding. Also, I'm not pregnant, but just a thought I've been having is like, I don't know how to deal with a blonde baby. This always happens to me. Do you see these like brown, like, lines outside of my eyebrows because I just like brush them so much. I don't like that. So I, I go in with like a regular brush that I, like a flat brush to try and like clean them up without adding any more product. Cause like, I don't add, I don't wanna add concealer around my eyebrows. It makes them look so boxy. But also I don't want like brown shadows around my eyebrows. That is the problem I have. And I also don't like doing my eyebrows first because then I get like powder, like eyeshadow all over them. So. That is my current first world issue. I'm gonna go back in with just a little bit more of that 99% angel and just highlight a little bit more. See if we can layer it. Yeah, that's super pretty. I really like that as a eyeball highlight. All right, we are almost done. For lips, I'm gonna do something super simple, but I've talked about it a couple times. I've done it a couple times. And it may have been on Instagram, but I will do it here with you now, which is a nude lip liner with a lip stain and then a gloss over it. Uh, my friend Dana put me onto this and I just absolutely love it. I also wanna use the Benetint with you guys because literally, is it 2016? I don't know. This is the M Cosmetics Teddy Lip Liner. It's like a nice soft brown. Then I'm gonna go in with my Benetint, which I said in that vlog, uh, it's so liquidy, it does end up making you taste flowers. And I'm just gonna kind of focus that in the center of the lip. Let that sit for a second. And then lastly, I'm going to use this Sigma lip oil in, it's just the clear shade, Hush. And it is very nice. Is it a Dior lip oil? No, but it's nice. I would say it's a little bit of a thick, thicker feeling than the Dior lip oil. And there's no cooling sensation to it, so to me, not as good. Let's add some fake freckles because I literally can't do anything without fake freckles. ColourPop freck pen. I really like this company called, called Pseudo Labs that makes fake freckles. But the problem is you have to like, you have to like flick them on your face and it ends up getting all over your shirt and your table. And that is the worst part because they look so natural and I, freaking love the way they look when it's all said and done. But to put it on, you have to be like basically naked and like not care if you get it everywhere, you know? And I, I care. I go ahead and care. Okay, she went a little overboard, but what's new? Thank you so much for sitting with me today and just letting me chat because I already feel a little bit better just doing something that I enjoy doing on a very dark day. Tons of new videos coming. Like I said, we're gonna do a video on tubing mascaras. We're also gonna do a video on replacing my hydro sealer. I can't explain to you enough how upset I am about it and how disturbed I am, but I literally, I just can't, I can't do it today. I hope you guys have a fabulous week and I will see you in the next one really soon. Bye.